A boss gives answers and a leader seeks solutions. A boss counts value and a leader creates value. A boss has employees and a leader motivates, creates, and inspires more leaders. You see, a leader remembers. A leader remembers that even when the storm has tightened the chest of its people, they must plant themselves strong by the river. That they must be witness and warrior to the moving mountains, to the turn in time. That they must remind the people to root themselves beside one another. That in order for us to breathe with ease tomorrow, each and every one of you must remember that you are the evidence of every success. This is my third Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Summit, and I have to say that every year is better than the, the previous year. Uh, this was an absolutely amazing conversation with amazing thought leaders where we're constantly thinking about how can we push the envelope and continue to accelerate equity. Your stories, your brilliance, your difference is the evidence that echoes change. Because you, each and every one of you, are here in the seconds and the minutes. You are here in the slow and the messy. You are here in the easy and the heavy. You are here as we continue to move forward for representation and access and safety and equity. You are here even when your titles do not shout it, but because you believe in it. I'm feeling excited after Pfizer's Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Summit about the passion and energy within this organization, the commitment from senior leadership uh, to the CRGs around creating equitable and inclusive experiences for Pfizer colleagues around the globe, as well as all of your customers and stakeholders. It's so important for companies like Pfizer to work with hiring our heroes because it sends a very clear signal to our military-connected community, our transitioning service members, veterans, and military spouses that Pfizer is ready to receive this workforce into their organization. What I like is the fact that this was just an honest, transparent conversation where we talked about what are we doing well, where are the areas where we have progress, and where are the areas where we need to continue to focus on and work on. And we make sure that when we look at diversity, equity, inclusion, not only do we look at it with a holistic approach, but we look at it with a global lens. So being able to go around the world and bring in our offices to talk about specifically how they've created diversity, equity, and inclusion fit for purpose strategies that feeds into our larger DEI strategy, hashtag Pfizer proud. Super proud that, you know, the business, our organization, the company, our leaders, everyone is owning their own DEI journey and helping to bring us together collectively to where we need to be to ensure that we are reflective of the global communities that we serve. My biggest takeaway is there's still a lot more that needs to be done. There's still a lot more education that we need to continue to do and we need to continue to be deliberate in our actions for making sure that our colleagues feel like they're included, that they can be themselves and that they can come to work focusing on how to drive our business forward. I'm just incredibly energized about all the speakers and all of the great work that we're doing in the diversity, equity and inclusion space. And my biggest takeaway is that there is so much more to do, even though we are doing an immense amount with our CRGs and our DEI team here at Pfizer, there is so much left to do. I think it's really important to hear from people across the Pfizer business, from top to bottom, from east to west. Um, everyone's perspective is valuable and everyone's story is powerful. This earth, this land is asking us to do more. Asking us to believe in one another asking us to push the bounds and create a brave space. Because we are, we are hope, we are power, we are here. Thank you. Thank you.